Hospice is not about dying. You know, death is something that it happens to all of us. And when you've come to terms with it, especially, you know, having a personal, my, my mother-in-law went through it, and having that knowing fact that, you know, the end of life is coming, you have a terminal illness, and most people want to die with dignity and be comforted with their family and loved ones and the support at their house where they live every day. So my mom's a nurse and she did home health care and when I hear hospice, I think it's people that are like terminally ill on their deathbed and like providing comfort as opposed to like health care that gets them out of like the house type of thing. So I'd be surprised if you said it wasn't about like people dying. has given hospice patients more things to do for entertainment. That's neat. It's not something I would have ever thought of or imagined even. That's really cool. I think providing, especially like they said, they're confined to their quarters and providing them with an experience of life rather than just sitting and watching a TV or sitting staring at a wall all day is really cool. I think it's wonderful. I think what a, what a gift. I think it's actually a really beautiful thing. For like my dad, like he was somebody that always needed to be out doing things and I think that that just really would have helped his spirits at the end and really um, encouraged him. Dealing with my mother-in-law in hospice, you know, as she was a nurse and, and very anxious at the end of her, her life, you know, knowing she faces a terminal illness like bladder cancer that had metastasized. And sometimes, you know, when people think of hospice is you're kind of confined to your room and you're just staring at walls and, and the ceiling and maybe getting visited by friends and family, this is a great opportunity for folks to have that little bit of break, that break in reality where they can escape into something and, and be able to still enjoy the end of their life without staring at walls and, and the ceiling and hoping that, well, is my, breath, my next breath the last one? Now it's more enjoyable where they can participate in something that they may never have been able to, but they dreamt of, but they never got to it. People who are passing away have lived maybe in this community their whole life and given in a million ways. 